Ready? Did it record? Hi, Zaina. How are you? I'm good, Baba. How are you? Really well, thank you. It's been kind of a, a very busy day. I know we've tried to get in touch since this morning. I'll call you back in five. I'll call you back in ten. Be back in five minutes. I got an emergency phone call. Someone just came. I'll call you back. So back and forth, back and forth. Now we finally got a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. And uh, so tell me about Washington right now and uh, your, uh, your, your day, your yoga classes. How'd they go? Just had a really nice practice with some kids this morning and a good, uh, I just, I feel uh, deeply drawn to, and I have people in my life that are constantly reminding me of what the true roots of yoga that attracted me to yoga in the first place. And it was nothing about the physical aspect of the practice. And it was all about the start of the inward journey to myself. So yeah. I'm very thankful that I have people like yourself, Michael, my sister, Lama, uh, you know, my friend, Kelly, um, and some people who are just appearing in my life, Kat, this lady that I, you know, I've had myself struggle with, but at the same time, in the struggle with her, there's a lot of like respect. Okay. And there is space for me to communicate what is coming up for me. I feel very secure in the space and in me communicating my needs uh, with her so comfortably, she finds that I am like, sh she's always like, wow, like, I want to be like you, you're so embodied. And I'm like, wow, when I show up to for myself, mm -hmm. other women look at that as yes. like, you being embodied. And That's right. I've That's always right. wondered, what does it mean to be embodied? I, was, I always yeah. thought it was this mystical no. uh, element that was outside of myself. And I realized that all embodiment is, is when there is a particular trait that people can pick up that is in you, say, you're really feminine or you're really um singing in your voice whatever it is <laughs> yeah you're embodying you're saying you're embodying a womanly quality that people notice right a certain energy it's not just a quality yeah, yeah, it's, a yeah. it's an energy quality. it's yeah it's an emanation of sorts of course exactly and it, it it never looks the same on two people right no, of course not just like yeah. that just like uh oh you know what let me not talk about it. we said we weren't going to mention the whole drama going on out there uh i was just gonna say just like that little uh little uh cure they got because there's uh many many different types of uh tissue types in humans you don't know how they will react from one to another and that's i uh, saw the the several several doctors uh this morning uh having a meeting and discussing it and that it's they, they spoke about how uh children babies right in the amniotic sac, there's very few bacteria, right? But we we are made up of hundreds of trillions of bacteria, and and it's symbiotic for for us to have these and live. If we didn't have them, we wouldn't be alive, because they take care of other uh, things that are nasty to us, right? You know about the digestive tract and the bacteria, the good flora fauna in there, and we have tons of of uh, little little uh, microbes all over our skin, hundreds of trillions of skin, intestinal, hundreds of trillions of bowel, hundreds of trillions. Anyways, when a child, when a baby's born, they're exposed to hundreds of trillions of bacteria. Why is it that the baby isn't sick right away? It's not that the immune system has had a chance to develop to, to these foreign invaders. And that right there is should instantly spark the question yeah why is it that children never having been exposed all of a sudden are exposed but yet they're fine how did we jump to this topic michael i was well because because you said you said about how the different energies don't show up the same in each woman and I said, just like the cure they have to offer you, because oh, many, I love, yeah, many varied for... tissue types. We don't know how the person will react. One person to another. One person may get ill. Another person yeah, may be fine. Exactly we're seeing right now, yeah. right? Another person may be fine. Another person may die. And we've we've seen all the examples. So it's like 
You're playing, me personally, I say you're playing Russian roulette with this. If, if you're mm-hmm. contemplating it at all, it's like, it's basically, why don't you take a gun, put a bullet in it and click. There you go, you're better off. Trust me, hopefully that can, thing will go off. Can you hear that music, Michael? I'm just wondering, can you hear it? I can, but it's coming across distorted, hun. Yeah, it's coming across very distorted. I don't know. You want me to try it on my end music? How do you how do you have music come through? Oh, we'll do that some other time. Okay. Just set it up for me. No so. worries. Thanks. Thanks for, for trusting me to pull it up really quick. Well, I just don't know what she did. So oh, okay. Oh, somebody set that up for you? Yeah, my sister did. Oh, someone set that up for you, but for me, it's like go go ahead, baby. Download Zoom. It's really easy. No, 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 I had downloaded it, but for some reason, oh, I the didn't music. know how to share my music, but she taught me how to share my music, and I thought I'd just try to do it, but maybe because I gave you, I think, host privileges so that you can record. Oh, got you, got you, hun, yeah. So, yeah, no two people are the same, so no two, it's just, you know, this is what I love about holistic medicine, in a way, because... You know, I'll tell you a story. I've been suffering with my right hip for a while. Part of it is psychosomatic. Part of it is has to do with my relationship with the masculine, whether it be with myself or the exterior world or in relationships. Um, but anyways, long story short, I went to an osteopath in Canada when I was there and I went to see him twice. And you know, there was something about him that was, he was Filipino. There was something about him that was very intuitive, you know. I had okay. told him that my hip and my foot and I'm yeah. like, my neck, is, I told him, you know, and I was there for an hour and he just, he gently worked on me. I got to tell you, I left that office that day, <clears throat> not office, his home. And I was just like, wow, I've been living with this pressure in my hip lower hip area for a year at that point a year plus and it was this moment I was like there's no pressure I don't feel it so what I'm saying is like you know the more in the more we are connected to our vessel which is this vehicle that's driving this experience Mm -hmm. the more connected we are the more we um we can be in, we can tune in to the, to the intuition of, of living, even to live in this 3D world, there is an intuition about living, Mm. living in, in the yamas and niyamas of yoga in this world, there is a way to be non-violent and truthful and non-hoarding and non-stealing, like there is a way to do all of that and be in harmony with everything, right, so. Well, yeah, absolutely. Go away from everything because everything that comes up, whether it be a mask or a vaccine or a new rule as to how we're entering a country and exiting a country, no matter how it seems like, no matter where you are, it's become this and this, like this screen right there, Mm. your screen and my screen, right? Mm. Like where, you know, where in this conversation of everything we currently are experiencing, the constant change of rules because of this demic that we're in, and like seriously, like, and we're not even allowed to talk about it because there's fear that if you say anything, they will take your video down. Like, when was that okay? You know. Yeah, like, I know they've taken several. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They've taken several. I t- uh, one on Facebook. They took down and two on YouTube. And I, I got my warning, and now I got my first strike saying two more, and you're done. <laughs> what does that mean? Wow. mean? Why like, be done with Facebook mean? Uh, or you- at Facebook, I put out a video talking about the COVID, right? Mm. And uh, it was live. By the time I was done, it, it, they had taken it down. And then they wrote in place. They said, we do not accept uh, um, non-medical uh, 
uh, advice or what something like that, right? Um, yeah, yeah. There's always an excuse why someone does something, right? No matter what their reasoning is, they they, they can give you a set of excuses why yeah. that's the way it is. And it's crazy, Michael. Mikael, Mikael Angelo. <laughs> no, it's, if you're going to say it, babe, say it right, because you just hurt my ears as you said that. <laughs> it's not Arabic. It's not Mikael. Kifik. It's not Mikael. It's Michelangelo. Have you ever heard? Have you heard? Of, have you been to Italy? So you've mm -hmm. probably seen the Michelangelo statue. And if you go to Italy and you say Michelangelo, they'll slap you. Michelangelo. That's right, honey. Named after who else? The Archangel Michael. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's wild. I, I spoke to my cousin in Rome and she says it's getting crazy. The police, if you if you're caught not wearing a mask, uh, they'll they'll find you, and some it, some of them are get violent with you, and they'll beat you, right? And uh, they got it on film. A, a woman, 78, 79 years old, mm. right? Uh, actually, arresting her because she didn't have a mask on, and she was resisting, right? So they threw her up against, and they were all it was all filmed. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And then again. Two of her friends, nurses, don't want to scare you folks, but this is fact. Uh, Michael, Michael, can you can you pause it for a second? Can you see up at that recording? You can pause it. Can you pause it for a second? I will.